I remember in 1952, maybe, well, maybe it was 1953, somewhere along there anyway, Wayne Rainey brought us kids, two hicks from the sticks of South Arkansas to Nashville, Tennessee. And we had the opportunity to go to the Grand Ole Opry. And to this day, I still remember where we sat. I could go back and just tell you exactly where we sat at the Grand Ole Opry. That was the first time we ever played there, or we ever went to the Grand Ole Opry. Never played there until 1954 after we, we recorded Looking Back to Sea. Uh, we made a few appearances through the years. But after 59, when the Three Bells came out and Scarlet Ribbons and the old Lamplighter, I felt that if we were going to stay in the business, that we should, we should join the Grand Ole Opry because that's where everything started and that's where everything came from back in those days. I don't, I don't recall exactly how we were introduced as the first members or the members of the Grand Ole Opry for the first time. I don't remember that. I just remember that uh, uh, it was quite an experience whenever Ernest Tubb introduced us and said, these are the newest members of the Grand Ole Opry. Well, I guess that must be, <laughs> that must be the time whenever I found out that I was a member of the Grand Ole Opry. <laughs>